once again to the Word of the Day podcast, where useful words are pleasantly explained. I'm your host, Jamie Silva, and today's word is an adjective, Pyrrhic. This refers to when a victory or success isn't worth the cost or effort needed to achieve it. The online version of this definition is much the same. It means, quote, one at too great a cost to have been worthwhile for the victor, end quote. This is one of those words that one sees exclusively in a single phrase, and that phrase is a Pyrrhic victory. And the origin of this phrase is actually pretty neat. Um, in the 3rd century BC, there was a Greek king, uh, not of the whole modern Greece, uh, you understand, but just of a city-state uh, within the region. And this king was named Pyrrhus, and he was very powerful. And so, naturally, uh, he decided to take on Rome, which was not a great idea. In one massive battle with the Romans, Pyrrhus's army emerged victorious, but also suffered heavy losses. The ancient historian Plutarch describes what happened next. And to read his account, please welcome to the show a talented voice actress, Camille. Uh, Camille, thank you for being on the show. Thank you, Jamie. Happy to be here. Plutarch writes, The two armies separated, and we are told that when a man congratulated Pyrrhus on his victory, he replied, If we are victorious in one more such battle with the Romans, we shall be utterly ruined. For he had lost a great part of his forces, and nearly all his friends and generals. Meanwhile, the army of the Romans, as if it were a gushing fountain, easily and speedily filled up again, and the Romans did not lose courage in defeat. Nay, their wrath gave them all the more vigor and determination for war. Right, so he won the battle, but in doing so, he raised his odds of losing the war, because the battle was so costly for him. And this was apparently a novel concept at the time, uh, so Pyrrhus got a word named after him, Pyrrhic. And because it was named after a person, apparently, if you're writing it, uh, you have to capitalize it, just like you would a proper noun. And let's go through a couple examples, as always, of how to use this word in ordinary conversation or writing. Example number one. Harvey successfully enforced his ban on people bothering him while he worked, but now no one visits his desk and he has no friends. It was a Pyrrhic victory. Example number two. Thanks to her new fruit cleanse, Pamela lost 14 pounds in just nine days. But sadly, she also developed a deep loathing for pears. Depending on how much Pamela used to like pears, this might be a Pyrrhic victory. Yes, indeed. Uh, and now it's time to introduce a brand new segment here on the Word of the Day podcast called Not in Stock. And in it, we discuss items that, unfortunately, we do not have available at present uh, in our fantastic online Word of the Day store, uh, which you can access at wotdpodcast.com slash merchandise. Camille, uh, can you introduce us to today's product? Fridge magnates. Did you say uh, magnets, Camille, or, or magnates? Magnates. Uh, well, I'm sorry, but the word is pronounced magnets. Not this word. Let me explain. Magnate is defined as a wealthy and influential person, especially in business. So... We're talking Carlos Slim, the Mexican telecoms giant, or British billionaire businessman Richard Branson, or maybe Bill Gates. We take the name and picture of a dozen titans of global industry and we put them on magnets. Naturally, these are called fridge magnates and they make great housewarming gifts. That sounds great. Uh, could I get the collector's edition set of all 12 of these fridge magnates? No, sorry, production is stalled right now because apparently we need these magnates' permission to feature their likenesses on the magnets. And thus far, we're mainly just getting their secretaries and they're not very nice to us. Uh, that's a shame. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll get that all uh, sorted out with the magnates uh, in no time and the, the magnets will start uh, rolling out of the factory. Uh, but happily, the rest of the store is well stocked with all sorts of customizable clothing, uh, mugs, and other products. Uh, so check it out at wotdpodcast.com slash uh, merchandise. Uh, that'll do it for the segment and today's show. As always, don't forget to rate and review the show on iTunes, uh, as I've been encouraging uh, you listeners to do uh, for some time. Jamie, do you worry that by telling them so often, sure, you'll get more reviews, but won't everyone else be annoyed at being pestered and stop listening? Well, I guess that could happen if only there were a term for this scenario. A Pyrrhic victory? That's the one. Well, uh, that'll wrap up today's show officially. Uh, many thanks to today's uh, talented voice actress, Camille. This has been the Word of the Day podcast. I'm Jamie Silver.